Okay, so we've we've got our pins inserted in our connector, right? Now we need to build the rest of the connector. So you can see here, I've got a screwdriver to use the screws, and then I've got some fusion tape or F4 tape, whatever you want to call it. And that we're going to use that to go over the wires to prevent chafing. So uh, I cut a piece of my F4 tape, and I'm going to first put my connector into the back shell and then kind of see where that F4 tape is going to go. So we can see here, you know, about where that splice is, is happening. That's where I want my F4 tape to wrap around. So this is self-adhering tape, or I should say it, it adheres to itself. Um, so I'm going to take my wires and kind of straighten them out the way I need them. And then I'm going to use my fusion tape and go around. I'm not wrapping it overly tight. Um, you know, the main thing is we just needed to create a layer there to prevent, uh, you know, wire rub or any sort of chafing. So now uh, I'm going to put my connector in the back shell and we see there we got a nice, um, I can move it up a little bit because like I said, I didn't put it on too tight. So I, I can push it in a little bit. And here is where this bar is going to go right across there. So that's where I want that to reside. So first things first, I'm going to put the cover on because the cover has a little lip. Uh, and that lip is going to hold your connector in place. So you see on both sides, it's holding your connector in. Um, and then there's holes here for the jack shell or uh, yeah, the back back shell screws to poke through. And then my little countersunk screws go in these holes. So I'm going to take my number one here, tighten that up, do the same with this. So now we can put on this strain relief uh, and there is kind of a trick to it. So like we talked to, like we talked about before, we want that, that fusion tape to be where the strain relief is going to be. Now this has two sides. It's curved. It's kind of shaped like a U. You might be able to see here. Uh, we want the, the bottom of the U to be towards our wire. So if this is our wire, it will sit on top of the wire like this. If you go down like this, uh, you, you run the risk of cutting into your wire. So you want smooth side down. So I'm going to put smooth side down and then I'm going to get my screws. So there's one, get it started, get the other one in here. Okay, now the trick here is you want it tight, but you don't want it to be over tight because that will, you know, create a lot of pressure on your wire. So you can see here, the bar is not really, there's no like bend. These, these aren't all the way down. You know, I could probably tighten up this side just a little bit more, uh, nothing crazy, because I don't want a lot of tension on that. I just want it to hold it in place and with, you know, we built that layer of rubber there, a rubber tape, so, you know, you'd have something to press against. It's not pressing against the wire. It gives you some relief, so strain relief. And that is a com completed connector. The only thing we have left is to terminate our shield drain to the back shell. So now we need to do that. And how we're going to go about that is I'm going to use a D-ring. I'm going to need my wire strippers, and then I have a ring terminal crimper. So uh, that's how we will terminate that. And then lastly, um, you will need an 832 screw. That's what fits in this, uh, that's what fits in here. So this is a number 832 screw, 
and that's what we'll terminate with. So I'm going to strip this wire. And then I'm going to go into my D-ring and my wire is at the very top of the connector there. So I'm take my, and this is a red ring terminal, so I'm going to go to the red side. Ring terminal goes in. there it's crimped so I've got a good mechanical connection there and then my ring terminal will just screw to the back shell like this nice and tight now so my, my screw is a little long there we see it protrudes but it's not touching any wire so it's not really a problem I recommend a shorter, you know, 8 30 second screw there for your ring terminal, but you know, I'm not touching any wire, so I, that's safe for me. But there is a completed back shell connector.